Hello everyone, I just finished another Little Big Planet project, The Game of Life. John Conway's cellular automaton. That's uh if you don't know know what it is, I'll leave an explanation in the video info below. And uh I'll add a link to the game if you want to try it out. Someone actually built a smaller version of Game of Life uh in Minecraft and that's when I first heard about it. First of all, there's no objective to the game of life and there's no winning or losing. It's kind of like Minecraft, but without mining and crafting, except it's not fun. I wouldn't call it fun. It's kind of like intriguing. Essentially, you have this huge grid of cells, and a cell can be either alive or dead, and this is determined by however many live cells are, are like, uh, like neighbor cells. It counts uh, diagonally, too. So a cell can have up to eight neighbors. Um, if a cell is dead, and it has exactly three live neighbors, it'll come to life in the next generation. Uh, if a cell is alive, it'll stay alive if it has exactly two or three live neighbors. But otherwise, the cell will die or remain dead, either by uh, population, like, it's, a, it's as if, it's, I mean, uh, dying as if it's by, either by underpopulation or overpopulation, that was hard to get out. Uh, based on these three rules, magic happens, and uh, in my Little Big Planet version, it's nothing more than just pretty explosions of lights and weird moving things, but... If you had a huge grid, it's possible to create complex, uh, like animated organisms, and someone even built a, a binary calculator using Game of Life. Anyways, uh, this is my layout. Uh, I got the big grid in the middle. Uh, I'll explain the programming and technical stuff in another video for you math and computer people. Uh, I'll add a link at the top of this video when I have that. But about this level, you got a 15 by 15 grid. You control this little cursor. If you press X, you can toggle a cell, alive or dead, and the game is currently paused, paused so no calculations are going on. Right now, uh, you can set the seed pattern with X, you just make draw, whatever. Um, and then when you're ready, you hold R1 and, and the, it, it calculates, it runs at uh, the set speed. Um, Maybe it'll die out, maybe it becomes stable, you know, maybe it'll get stuck in an endless loop, or, or it'll just, like, keep going in a random-looking shape. But, uh, you also have the ability to randomize. Alright, here, let me run this first and show you. That's kind of, that ends up, you got a stable block right here, and then you got this little stable shape, and they just don't change after that. So, uh, you can randomize, if you push square, it, um, does that makes a cool little noise and then uh, push circle you can clear all um one thing about this game the random generators I don't like them uh, I'll talk about that in another video I'll make soon about my minecraft random number generator I'll finish this video then I'll do the video about the logic gates and probably next up will be the minecraft random number generator anyways it works better than the little big planet one so that's pretty cool I'll save it for that video. Anyways, the pulsing border shows the speed at which the game is running. Um, you can increase the you can increase or decrease the speed by rotating the right analog stick clockwise or counterclockwise. When you do a full loop either direction, you can hear a beep, and that's increasing the speed. So that's a uh, top speed, I think. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, if you press L3, you can uh, move faster. Wait, slow and fast. Uh, okay, um, what else? If you use a directional pad up and down, you can zoom in and out with the cameras. Uh, there's five settings. Uh, if you press left and right, you can change the lighting. If you enjoy bright colors or seizures, that's for you. Uh, but I would say the coolest feature is probably the ability to rewind. So, if you have this glider, this is a glider that if you go forward you can rewind it and it loops between the previous four states one two three four yeah um... Uh, I've never messed with memory before I don't know if this is a correct way to do it I don't know if a professional would do the same but what I did was store the uh, the binary value alive or dead in a chip inside each of these cells and then uh... Each cell holds its own memory, so when you're running the game, you're constantly overriding the saved data in a loop, 
and when you press L1 to rewind, the direction reverses and the data is taken out of the chips and placed into the cell logic instead of the other way around. And at every moment, the previous four states are saved. Uh, I originally had it set up to hold the previous five states, but I had to trim some fat because I ran out of memory. And that brings me to uh, more stuff I had to cut out because of memory limitations. Uh, one was the ability to toggle edge looping on and off. So if you have this like glider, uh, when it hits, right now it's, you know, it just hits a wall, collides with a wall, and that kills it, and it's dead. But I was gonna, I did have the option to, um, you, you can toggle it, so, uh, you can toggle on and off where it will just disappear off the side of the screen and pop up on the opposite end of the screen over here. And that would have been pretty cool, but I decided to choose, uh, there's like three main features that I wanted to add. One was the looping, one was the cell memory, and one was the last one, but... Cell memory was uh, my favorite. So the last one was just uh, these loadable, these patterns would be loadable. So you can click on these pictures and it would load them into the grid. Uh, I'll just show you these pictures. There's different uh, things make pretty explosions and different stuff. I'm not going to give it away what they do, but that's a vortex right there. Yep. Um, I guess that's it. I'll go record another video about the logic and add that link on this video if you're interested in that. And if you're interested in trying out the game of life, there's going to be two links in the video info below. Uh, the first will be a playable game and the second will be a game of life wiki. So lots of crazy information in there if you're a nerd such as myself. But okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Wait. I didn't demonstrate. Okay. Ready? Here goes. And that's it. Yep. So it's uh this certain pattern is it's called a period fourteen oscillator. Basically it takes fourteen steps for it to end up in the same spot where it started. And that's that. So then there's a bunch of other patterns I added in here too that do different things. Okay. On to the logic. Click the link if you're interested. Thanks for watching. See ya.